Welcome back to Danganronpa V3. Uh, last time we were in the middle of meeting all the other students, so uh, I'm gonna continue that. Can I go in the kitchen or not? Maybe not. All right. Uh, I messed with the graphical settings a bit, and I'm hoping that'll fix the slowdown in cutscenes. It might not, but maybe it'll make it less bad. Ah. Is this a warehouse? It's pretty big. Um, hello. Damn it. We saw a conspicuous girl rummaging through a shelf filled with different chemicals. Hey, hey what are you looking for? <laughs> I literally just met you and you've already called me a bitch. Oh. Huh? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, you, hmm. you mother fu ha, fucking virgin. <laughs> wow. Um. Everyone wears pants though. What? <laughs> oh. What? I I mean, you kind of hey. gave him a hard time. Hey, your vulgar language is uncalled for. Just who are you anyway? heard of you. Um, so, what kinds of things do you invent? Hmm. Ah, that's right. It's all about... Why does everything involve sleeping? Sure. <laughs> huh? Wait, really? That's your invention? Some of my friends wear them. <laughs> wow. That seems like a waste. It's way better than your do stuff while sleeping inventions. Um, By the way, what were you looking for earlier? You sounded pretty desperate to find it. What was that? Huh? Medicine? Are you hurt or feeling sick? Fucking moron! Oh my god. Ah! That's a hell of a sprite. Oh, Wait, what? You can't use drugs to get high. You definitely shouldn't do that. They say there's a fine line between genius and insanity, but she's definitely beyond insane. I... I still have no idea how I feel about her. What's up with Shuichi? He's been quiet ever since Miyu mentioned his hat. Does he not like to talk about it? Y'all right there, buddy? He's quiet now. Maybe he doesn't like it when people talk about his hat. I like your hat. It's got lines on it. <laughs> it's cool. Alright. Sure. There's nothing over there I can look at anyways. High jump bar. This looks like a high jump pole for track and field. I didn't expect to see professional equipment like this here. Hmm. There are hurdles, too. We could hold our own track and field meets with all this equipment. These mats are pretty heavy. It must be a lot of work to carry these to the gym. RC helicopter? Wait. Huh. A remote-controlled helicopter. What's this doing in a school warehouse? Oh, these are all going to be used in a murder. I can feel it. A shot put ball. Uh-oh. A shot put ball for track and field? Does this place even have a sports stadium? Uh, 
And I guess there's a monitor. So a monitor is installed in the warehouse too. Okay. Nothing I can push. Oh. Alright. Uh, I don't think we talked to you a second time. Yeah? Uh oh. Oh, I don't know. Um. End of hallway. This was, I think, where the gym was before. Oh, there's more. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna clear that floor out first. That's an interesting door. God, what is this design? It's like faded polka dots. I don't even know. Anything in here? This is the girls' bathroom, right? You know? Shuichi, do you mind waiting here? Uh, okay. Jeez. Don't give me that weird look. I'm just gonna check if there's anything inside. I doubt there'd be an exit, but just in case. Sorry. Uh, no? Um. The toilets seem normal, but it's weird that plants are growing this thick. Is this something glowing back there? Okay, nothing. This monitor. Yeah, way too high tech. Cool. Slap this stuff. Get out of here. This is a soap free school. You're not allowed to be clean. Hygiene is fake. Goodbye. You're not gonna let me go in here? This is the boys' bathroom, right? I can't go in there, not even in this situation. Um. Yeah? What? I'm not that curious about what's in there. Remember. <laughs> it's not that weird, like, come on. With that, Shuichi opened the door and walked inside. Hmm. Yeah? I see. I see. That scared me. Maybe detectives live through these kind of scary situations? What? It's just a bathroom. <laughs> Alright. Um, what else is on this floor? Oh. I did, oh no, there's stuff behind me. Oh. Let's get it off. No? Oh, I guess we can't go to the dorms, because I believe that's where they were. Uh, classroom A. Ooh. That's fancy. Hello. Hey! Please stop! That boy in white is chasing that other boy in the funny clothes. What's happening here? Oh dear. What? A robot? What is it? <laughs> That's enough. Aww. Hey. Wait, you're a robot? Are you for reals a robot? No. What are the mono cubs? I am K1B0, the ultimate robot. But please, address me as Kiba. Um. Ultimate robot? Oh, um, go ahead. I'm Kokichioma, the ultimate supreme leader. A robot and supreme leader? Neither of them make any sense. By the way. How rude. <laughs> that is not funny. I like his voice. He's trying his best. I think you should have just studied 
You should have ah, I think you should have just watched stand up comedy instead of studying it. Um, yeah. Professor Itabashi. Strong AI. But hmm. How about this? He's a real boy. Hey. Hey. Oma Oma, why? Why why are you like this? Well, I can see how being a robot might be enough to be called the ultimate robot. I mean, it's kind of like, congrats, you're a robot. But, I mean, I guess if you're like an impressive, strong AI person robot, then sure, that makes sense. Hey, Kokichi, I don't really understand your ultimate supreme leader talent. Huh? What? Seriously? The supreme leader of an evil secret organization? Because I'm a liar. <sighs> huh? Huh? So you were lying just now? It's true. Cool. So don't take anything you say as fact ever. Got it. Thanks. Jeez. So, were you lying or not? Hey, everything you said so far sounded like a lie, so that's gotta be a lie too, right? Come on. What a weird boy. He's like a mischievous little kid. This is no time to be joking around, unless he really is an evil supreme leader. Well, that's fun. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna take a moment to slap these desks around. Let's talk to these guys one more time. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> Alright. Should we cheat? It's a lie. I don't think you should worry about it. Hmm. Hmm. This blackboard is also an LCD screen. That's something you don't see every day. Monitor? Normal schools don't have monitors like this, right? Uh, missing anything? Aw, me. Aw. Why are the school windows covered in barbed wire? That is a good question. Cool. Uh, unless I missed a room, I think that's it for the floor. Yeah. Looks... Oh, it's cut off. Okay. There are stairs down here. It looks like it goes down to the basement. Aren't you on the second floor? What should we do, Shuichi? You want to head down? That's right. Then let's proceed with caution. With you at the front. <laughs> with hesitant Shuichi leading the way, we carefully made our way down the stairs. Alright. Were we not on the second floor just now? It doesn't look very dangerous to me. Shuichi, you have quite the imagination, don't you? No. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But we should look around the basement, too. Right? There might be an exit. No, but we should be careful. Uh, okay. Uh. Hmm. I want to go to the first floor first, and then come back here, because that feels like maybe plot. I mean, I know it's still gonna want me to meet all the students first, but just in case. Um, oh, maybe we were on the first floor. I'm confused. Oh. Wait. Okay. So, 
that was the second floor. We were on the first floor, and then there was another part of the first floor that we didn't go to. I'll get this eventually. I promise. There we go. Alright. This is nice. Is that... Water? Yeah? Okay. That's interesting. Hmm. I guess this doesn't open. Let's look somewhere else. It feels like maybe a trial door or something. Patterns are interesting. Cool. Um... Go down to the gym. Is this the gym? Man, everything's locked. Huh? huh? It won't open. It seems like we can't go into the gym. What's the matter? What's the matter, Shuichi? No. Um. Strange? How so? Uh, okay. Ah. Uh. It's those darn fields again. Well, it's natural to feel unsettled when we know so little about what's going on. Yeah. But we'll probably be fine. Um, because... because we have 16 ultimate students on our side. As long as we work together as friends, I just know nothing bad will happen. Oh no. Don't jinx it. <laughs> Yikes. Um, I guess that is everything. Man, I wish there was a pet in this game. I want my little, my little bunny Tamagotchi. Basement. Oh, this is real spooky. I love it. Library. That is a funky looking globe. As soon as I opened the door, I suddenly gagged from the musty smell of old books. Is this a library? You're right. uh. Oh, does that bother you? Are you a neat freak, Shuichi? No. Huh? Huh? Someone. No. Hmm. Interesting. I like these roots on the floor. That's spooky. Alright, what we got? This big little globe. What a beautiful globe. Yeah. <laughs> that sums it up. Moving ladder. This looks like a ladder for reaching books on the higher shelves. Yeah. Little bookcase. Books written in various languages line this shelf. Some of these letters make no sense. What languages are these supposed to be? Interesting. Front bookcase. There are a lot of books crammed in here, and they're all in different languages, too. How is anyone supposed to take a book off the shelf when they're crammed in like this? And this one. These books seem difficult to read, and they're not even written in a language I recognize. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with them. Okay. Can I slap them? Oh my god. See, now you can get the books. Just slap them out of the way. Oh, there's more stuff. Is there... Oh, just the monitor. Is it way too high tech? Sure is. Oh, what's this? Rear sliding door. That person might be an ultimate student, too. Maybe I should go talk to her. Okay, that's just the exit. Um... All right. Hey. Um, are you an ultimate student too? Okay. Huh? Is that it? She sure doesn't talk much. I... I'm Kaede Akamatsu, the ultimate. I'm the ultimate pianist. I'm. Jeez. 
Jeez, not suppose. You are the ultimate detective, okay? Uh, okay. Just supportive. Um, and what about you? Maki Harakawa, ultimate child caregiver. I really like her design. I see. Ultimate child caregiver, huh? 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 That's right. Um. But if you're the ultimate child caregiver, then children must like you a lot, right? I don't care. Mm -hmm. But they say kids are very intuitive. If they like you that much, hey. then they can probably doubt how loving you really are, Maki. Yeah, that must be it. You've chosen a perfect career for yourself. That's wrong. Huh? Huh? What do you mean by that? So what? Hmm. That sprite's so cute. Orphanage, huh? I see. Um. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, someone's gotta be controlling them, right? Any idea who it might be? Like I'd know. Hmm. Well, fair point. Hmm. The monocubs are definitely involved in our situation. Huh? Um. Well, he's a detective, not a god. He can't know everything. Yeah. I mean, who cares about some stuffed animals? Escaping this place is way more important. I mean, if they're in charge of the place, well. they kind of are. Hmm. That's not true. If they won't end this, then we will. I know we can do it if we work together. Hmm. Maki's report card. Oh. Our conversation finished. She quickly headed out of the library. Hmm. Jeez. Jeez, don't say that. Hmm. Alright. God, this music is extremely spooky. Fire extinguisher. Man. Oh, that's just the other library door. Uh. Whoa. Huh? Huh? Um. Um. This door barely opens a crack. Was it poorly built? Well, nothing we can do about it. Let's search somewhere else. Hmm. Suspicious. Ah. This monitor is way too- well. Oh. <laughs> Same text. Hey Kaede, what do you think about this monitor? How high tech is it? Way too high tech? Yeah, that's what I thought. Game room. Alright. Ah, I see. It looks like a game room. But this is a school, right? Is it normal for a school to have its own game room? Well. Hmm. They're questioning whether it's normal for a school to have this a lot. Which is interesting. Um, and a lot of these places are kinds of places that um, were in Hope's Peak, but Hope's Peak was sort of a special school. For sure. But then again, maybe this is too. There's a monitor in the basement too. Oh wow, different comment. Cool. Uh, we can't look at any of the machines? That's it. Can I push him? No. That's disappointing. Alright. How's it going? Are we really trapped in here? There must be an exit, right? You've still got a ways to go. Man, his design is something. Yeah. Oh, okay. However. Huh? Prison? What? But you're an ultimate student, aren't you? It's an old story. Ryoma Hoshi, the man called the ultimate tennis pro, no longer exists. <sighs> I'm nothing more than his empty shell. I just noticed little faces on his, uh, on the buttons on his jacket. 
You took down a mafia by yourself? If I remember correctly. What the hell, really? But why would you throw away your future like that? Huh? huh? No. More importantly. As he said that, he turned his back to us. Ryoma's report card. Yeah, he literally turned his back. It's interesting how uh, Shuichi seems to be sort of taking place of, of what Makoto was doing in, in the demo. Or I guess it would be the other way around. Just filling in the gaps in information. Alright. Yeah, there's roots everywhere. Alright. Oh. I wonder what's inside this room. I hope we can investigate it later. Oh, that must be the room with the uh, the door on the outside that doesn't open either. I think. That makes spatial sense. Yeah. Cool. Enough of that creepy music. Okay, there's a handful of characters I still haven't met. Oh, there we go. Oh, we couldn't go through here before, right? Looks like the iron gate opened. Did someone open it for us? Let's check it out. Oh, is this the entrance hall? Right, Chuichi? This must be the entrance hall, don't you think? Which means... Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. That door must be the entrance. If we walk through it, we can escape this place, right? No. Do not work. Uh. Oh, uh... Yes. Alright. My name is Korekio Shinguji. I am called the ultimate anthropologist. <laughs> Karekio? Anthropologist? Ah, uh, yes, the uh, localized nicknames. Okay, sure. Anthropology is... Let's see. Hmm. I like the little design on his hat. There's so many little details with these designs, they're really neat. Okay, I sort of get it, but not really. It sounds like a lot of fun, though. That's correct. Beautiful. Um. Oh, um... I... You do you, I guess. Humanity's beautiful. This guy looks like a creep, and it turns out he is one, too. Mm. Anyway, we can go outside if we just go through these doors, right? Yes. It's gonna be cryptic like that. Shattered? What does he mean by that? Cool. Check out this. This no, can't even look at that one. I see, yes. <sighs> you What's up, Shuichi? means despair. Haven't you ever played a Danganronpa game? God. Shuichi. Then, let's go. Uh, okay. Determined as I was, I just couldn't muster the courage to take that first step forward. To be honest, I was scared, because what if beyond this is just... Oh jeez, this isn't like me! Mm. Just because I'm scared doesn't mean I'm gonna run away. I gotta move forward. Don't worry about it. Let's go, Shuichi. Hmm. I psyched myself up, and with newfound strength, walked boldly toward the doors.
Gonna be the dorms. Upon opening the doors, we were immediately greeted by blue skies, bright sunlight. Oh, gentle wind. I guess the dorms are somewhere else, and the demo just put them there. And ah, a cage, a wall. I remember seeing this shot in the opening. Both words were accurate. What stood before us was both cage and wall. This reminds me of a game that I won't spoil, actually. So never mind. <laughs> Either way, the enormous wall struck a terrifying chord. The mere sight of its imposing presence was enough to send waves of panic through me. No matter where we looked, ahead, behind, above, or all around, the cage surrounded the entire school. What is this? We're trapped? What's going on? Oh. It's like a whole little park, sort of. The end wall. Huh? End wall? That's right. Uh, what are you talking about? Yeah. End of the world. Excuse me. Uh, Stop laughing and explain yourselves. Oh. Unless, like, end of the world means the end of like your world, like. The place you're allowed to be in. Oh Jesus! Fuck! There's a spider. Well, actually, what? I took a deep breath and shouted at the wall as loud as I could. Someone help us! Okay, spider's gone. Uh, I'm back. It's all good. Everything is fine. Please help us! Someone, anyone, please help us! We're trapped inside this huge cage! I shouted as loud as I could, but for all my shouting, there was no response. Proof? Or is it open? I can't hey. tell. Because it looks like it might be open, or it's just like glass or something. Hmm. <laughs> what is this? You things. This school. What is all this? Feels more like a prison than a school, what with, you know, the bars on everything, this whole dome cage and the, you know, chains and some of the designs everywhere. Actually. So under, cons under construction, I looked around. It was true, some areas did seem as if they were still under construction. After every trial, it looks like they're still building some of the facilities here. Are they still in the middle of building this school? No. Hmm. Huh? Texas. Hell yeah! Uh. You um. stupid. <laughs> Are they not just your mechs? Or you when you're in the mechs? Now they go again, but more importantly, is what they said really true? We can't escape, we can't go over that wall, and no one's coming to rescue us. Hmm. Oh, but if I give up now, then what? I slapped both my cheeks, and as my face grew warm, I could feel my determination returning. Hey, hey Shuichi, let's go see if we can find a way out. I slapped him firm upside his head, just firm enough to get his. I slapped him upside his head, just firm enough to get his attention. Oh. You know? Shuichi, I'm not great at motivating others, but we can't give up just because of a wall. We came in somewhere, so there has to be an exit. Yeah, that's right. We not we. 
We may not be able to escape now, but we'll do it eventually, somehow. Yeah. Everyone just has to cooperate if we all want to get out of here. Yeah, that's right. It's too early to give up. It's too early. That's the spirit. Oh, I see someone. Uh, no, it's blocked off. Oh, wow, there's a little mini-map. Alright, not a whole lot else going on here. The dining hall. Ah. Wait, is this that that one door? It looks like I, I can enter the school building from here, but it's blocked off. There's barbed wire on the inside. That's right. Just gonna do a lap around. Or maybe not. That's fine. Guess I won't. Uh, anything on the other side? Oh, we just tried that. Okay, cool. Dormitory. That must be where everyone else is, except for you. What are the, is the steering wheels? Seriously, I just don't get it. Huh? The universe. Got it. I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. Even crying children adore the ultimate astronaut. <laughs> That's an interesting line. Yeah, I've never been to space, so I don't know much about it. <laughs> I see. I see. So you're still a trainee. Huh? Then how'd you take the exam? So... That's illegal! Yeah. Oh man. Jeez. That's reckless. Yeah. Uh... Alright, that's... You know what? It's good attitude. Even if, um, no, that is the problem. Jeez, this guy sure talks a big game. Hey, he believes in himself. What are these? What are those? Okay. Oh, what's this? It's nice. It's like a little, little table, little picnic area. Like, you know, aside from the whole creepy dome thing, it looks kind of neat. Oh. Ah, hello. Who's this? Is this a ninja statue? Seriously, there are so many odd things. The mask in particular reminds me a lot of uh, Yusuke's Persona 5. Interesting. That's blocked off. Cool. As is everything else. Trials here? Through the, the big old red door? Shrine of Judgment. It's kind of pretty. Wow, okay. Oh, and slap the flowers away. Just a monitor. Are you gonna tell me it's too high tech? Sure are. Hey. This song is really sweet. Was it Becoming Friends? Nice. My name is Angie Yonaga. I think her design was one of the first ones that I liked when uh, the character designs from this game came out. Along with uh, Oma, I believe, was the other one. You're pretty cheerful. She's a bit too happy considering the situation we're in right now. She's cute. 
Uh, Tua? Oh, well, she's certainly devout. Do you specialize in painting or sculpting? I see, that's interesting. If you don't mind, can you show me some of your artwork? Of course, of course. Um, An offering? Uh... That sounds oddly similar to putting out the trash for pickup. But, but... Don't worry. Sorry. Um, I'm a bit anemic, so I'll pass. I see. Oh, she's got a little brush. This girl is so weird. I like her. But, but what do I know? Hmm. That is true. <laughs> when your anemia clears up. That's not something you say with a smile, is it? Alright. Did I miss anything? No? Cool. So, I'm kind of trying to piece together this backstory, and I know I'm not gonna... I don't know nearly enough at this point, but it seems like... Like, maybe we're in some kind of world where, like... Because they mentioned, like, something about... An they mentioned something about an ultimate hunt, as in like people, ultimates or people with talent are being kind of sought out by the masses and imprisoned or kidnapped or killed or I they don't even know. So like, this is very confusing. <laughs> kind of reminds me of the, um, the sort of reserve course uprising but on a much larger scale. Whoa, this guy looks scary. He's so big and muscular. Um, excuse me? Thank you. Huh? Huh? Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> um Cuz going to gentlemen. Yeah. Um, thank you for being so polite. He looks scary, but he doesn't seem very scary at all. Gonta is good. Gonta want to become gentlemen. Becoming true gentlemen. Gonta's goal. Yeah. I see. Oh, so you're Gonta. That's a really cute name. Huh? <laughs> Aw, you're actually pretty nice. Silly me for being so scared at first. Maybe. Sorry. Oh, sorry. That's not what I... No. Um. Since you were a kid, huh? I see. That sounds rough. Were they able to find you right away? Mm. Oh. Huh? Ten years. But... Hmm. I see. I'm glad they were nice people. Um. Huh? Wolves? Oh my god. Um, how is becoming a gentleman going to thank them for that? Huh? Hmm. It's interesting. Amazing. Uh, um. Wait. Huh? But how? <laughs> that's not true. Um, you don't hate bugs. You love them, right, Shuichi? Oh. Phew, yeah. I thought you were gonna die. 
Honestly, I can't stand bugs either, but it might be best to hide that. Hmm. That is interesting. I'm also wondering what that uh, that shot of Kaede with the helmet on is supposed to mean. Because it seems like it might imply... Well, there's one of two things that, that seem to be the possibility here. One is that that's happening in real time, and it's like a virtual reality thing, but we already did that with the hair too, so I hope not. Um, the other being that that's something that happened in the past, and some memory removal thing is going on. So that's suspicious. Ah, this building is round and has a lot of smaller rooms inside. Very nice to see you again. Oh, hello. Very nice to see you again. We're gonna be seeing a lot of you, aren't we? We're intruding. What is it this time? What do you mean by intruding? Uh, what? No thanks. Please don't. What do you mean, our home? Could it be? Yeah. I don't plan on staying here long enough to need a room. Oh, but you will. Yeah. This is familiar. Got all those little pixel portraits. Oh, they're so small. I love them. Alright. Huh? What do you mean? Hmm. Culprits, huh? I never even thought about that. Why would our kidnappers go to all this trouble? Sixteen ultimate students have been gathered here, but why? What's the reason? Excuse me. I am Kirumi Tojo, the ultimate maid. Please let me know if you require my service. Mm-hmm. Spiderweb is really cool. I see. Wow. The ultimate maid sounds like a really cool talent. Oh. If I remember correctly. Hmm. Huh? What? She's that amazing? I do not agree. But being requested to do that is pretty impressive on its own. That's true. I do not agree. I see. But you've been hired by so many important people. You're like a super maid. May I? Hmm, that's a tough question. Um, what should we do? What would you do, Kirumi? I do not agree. I am a maid after all. Hmm. For everyone. Even in this such Even in this situation, she's more concerned for others. Well, she is the ultimate maid after all. Kirumi's report card has been updated. Cool. That I think that is everyone. Bing dong, bing bong. Was that the bell? Oh. Ah, there they are. Oh! And the little... Oh, and the little kids hanging from the... The things. You bastards! Alright! To the gym. Oh boy. I'll be to sing goodbye. Jim? Opening ceremony? Hey. Um. What should we do? Go, of course. Everyone else is probably doing the same thing. You're right. Well, I'm not a little worried. I'm very worried. Hmm. <laughs> Can I check out my room? I don't plan on staying here long enough to need a room. Okay. 
we shall see. There we go. Stop that. <laughs> Speak about yourself in third person. <laughs> it's magic. Oh, that's cute. You're pretty lazy. Please wait. What are you gonna do? Oh. Don't you wonder what's wrong? Hmm? See? Oh. Huh? That's a fun sound. Ah. Hi again. Nice to see you. That's terrifying. Off the uggos. Hey! Oh. By the way. Don't be mean to her. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. With that, Rontaro casually walked up to the Exocells. Exocells? I, I don't. Then. Excisals. That's that. Hey! <laughs> uh huh. It's a killing game. Oh, he spoke. Huh? What? Hey! <laughs> huh? Hmm. It's a killing game. Hey! Ooh. This is a new track. Oh my god. What are you saying? Oh well. You wanna go, Jabroni? We really doing this? Who are you calling Jabroni? Jabroni? What'd you say, Jabroni? I'll go down any time, Jabroni! Wreck <laughs> yourself before you wreck yourself! Uh Sony's voice actor was a great pick for for Monophony. Kuma? Father! Kuma! Daddy! Huh? D Daddy? Oh. Oh no. At that moment, the lights in the gymnasium suddenly shut off. Did they shut off and turn back on? Is that what we're implying here? Ah, there's still delay. Maybe not quite as much, but it's still there. Oh my god, of this new world! 
Ah, uh, it's been a while since I heard your voice. Good to be back. Yay! Hell yeah! Ah, oh, yes, my jam. Hello. <laughs> my little <laughs> so Same. The very first prologue ever was only short. Oh. That's right. I think they all have a different name for him because you get Father, Pops, Papa Kuma, and Daddy. And silence. It's getting interesting. Oh. Times do I gotta say it? I'm not mad. Ah, father just transformed into a super monokuma god, super monokuma. Oh, Danganronpa. That's only possible when six monokumas of pure heart are gathered together. Oh, what is? That's a reference to something, isn't it? It's the power you bust out when you really it's gotta be. Fuck the world shit up. <laughs> that was a great delivery. The rest of the second second generation. No way. Hmm. Yeah, but Interesting. It's cause there's none worth remembering. This is ridiculous. But father remembers because he knows everything. Holy shit! That's right, Papa Kuma. You know all kinds of useless crap. Cause daddy gets all his alternate facts. Wow, that is a topical reference. <laughs> oh, I wonder. What is this? What's going on? Don't, don't say that word. Don't say the D word. It's no more. We're done. Like me. Yeah, they're Max. Makes sense. Getting to the point. Killing game? Us? Please stop. Huh? Go to never do that. And another thing. <sighs> so unsure. You gotta be kidding me. Oh. Hmm. Can we not be? Huh? Just have a happy fun time? Oh, we are enemies? So I don't know if that if it means enemies in the sense of he's pitting us against each other or we've been enemies in the past. <laughs> you stupid. That'll be a that'll be a short game. <laughs> Huge dick. I support her. It's okay. No way. Da -da -da -da! 
Hmm. Class trials, yep. Class trials? <laughs> oh, that's right, cute. So if one of you maggots kills someone, you all gotta take part in a class trial. The class trial is where the blackened killer faces off against their spotless classmates. It's where you punk ass bitches argue over who you fucking think the blackened is. Sums it up. <laughs> After that, it's voting time! And if the majority of you idiots vote correctly, then only the Blackens killer will receive punishment. But it's so cruel. Just imagining all the bloody guard makes me want to kill. Oh. After the Blackened is punished, the rest of you will just keep right on living together. But if you vote for the wrong person during the class trial, if you pick the wrong one, <laughs> the Blackens gets off scot-free and all the spotless students get punished instead yeah hell yeah them's the rules of the class trial Woo -hoo -hoo! Oh! <laughs> sounds like a fun fun role to voice uh since when did you have a tongue please put that back i do not want to see it again thank you gross yeah How should I put this? Uh... What? What? Listen. Outside world is in like, just real trials for a murder? Or is there something else happening out there? Oh boy. Sure. But this is a killing game, so the punishment for murder is a bit more permanent. Hell yeah! Uh, okay. N no. Yeah. <laughs> God. God damn it. Y'all nasty. What? Well now. Thrills, chills, kills. All right. Sounds like a plan. You have free reign to murder however you like, too. Like bludgeoning or stabbing. Feeling cheap? Try strangulation. Feeling lazy? Try poisoning. <laughs> Laughing's a new one. You can use any method you like to kill anybody you like, any way you like. At the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles, you will realize your murderous potential. Sixteen talented teenage prodigies, all competing for first place in a killing game. They seem to be putting more emphasis on the fact that, like, everyone has a talent they're like oh look at us pit all these talented kids against each other like i'm curious to see why that's a bigger factor in this there's no better setting for an event like this than the ultimate academy unless they're just being meta about it Hmm. Oh boy. It, it can't be. A lie. More like fiction. What is happening? Like a story on TV. A scenario so removed from reality we can hardly believe it's happening. It's no use. Only reason you're here, yeah. Now then. 
seems much more of a, like, we gathered students with talents to make them kill each other sort of thing, versus a, we took this class of students who happened to be talented and pit them against each other. Well, wait just a minute. Oh. Stop it. No matter what you say, we won't do it. We'll never participate in a killing game. Whatever you have planned, I'm not gonna let you get away with it. Hmm. What do you mean by that? I love it. Oh. There's the bear puns. Uh. Ooh. We stood in dumbfounded silence, surrounded by the squealing laughter of Monokuma and his cubs. Everything about this situation was so messed up. An academy surrounded by a giant wall. Sixteen ultimate students trapped inside. Mysterious stuffed bears and deadly weapons. And new friends, forced to play some killing game. It all felt like something out of a sadistic work of fiction. A sadistic story no different from reality itself. And against my will, I was now a character in that story. Oh, get the intro, and pray it doesn't slow down. I think speed actually might be okay. seeing the uh, animated CG scenes. Yeah. I'm really curious to see what the purple eyes are about too. Is there something going on there? so cute Ultimate Revival. End. Ah, uh, prologue. Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles Badge. Alright. That's going to be the end of this episode, so uh, I'll see you next time with what I presume is Chapter 1. See ya. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like or comment, and if you want to keep up with everything Bird Sons, consider subscribing. See ya, every birdie. Game, you gave me this power, and you expect me to not use it everywhere? Actually, you probably do expect me to do it.